Hi, right, Dave requested a, uh, semi-requested a video of the EEV Blog BM235 meter. Came from Amazon. Uh, mine came from Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Louisville, Kentucky, to Minneapolis, Minnesota, to Bismarck, to here. And just got it here a couple hours ago. So, unmolested, untouched, un it's still, still sealed and all that good stuff, so... Go ahead and tip this down and, and open her up and see what it looks like. Yeah, we'll go with that. I got a few other meters, so this is just to add on, you know. Typical bubble wrap. And in the box. That's it. EEV blog, no bullshit packaging. Nice. <laughs> I'm just I'm saving this box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know that's not a lot of packaging. UPS and FedEx and whatnot, pretty good to me up here, so I have got no complaints of those guys. That's all there is in the box. Meter, blue wrapper. Yep, it's all there. Oh, I did not know it came with the thermocouple. Nice. Okay, bonus points for me. And let's see, yep. Looks like it's all here. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. You see the uh, kind of the faded digits there? I don't think I've ever seen that in an LCD. I see they're going away. Kinda. And they're still there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them or not. Anyways, I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm gonna turn it on. <laughs> Hey, it looks like it works. I ain't, got, I ain't got no batteries out here, or do I? Gotta check its own battery. You know, so far so good seems to work. It says it's got zero volts on it. Thermocouple? Don't know what type. Oh, K type thermocouple. Alright, cool. Looks like the leads are, yeah. Does that come off? Oh, good, nice. Oh yeah, that's sharp. That'll that'll make a dent in uh, somebody's kid. <laughs> yep, very sharp. And got the uh, adapters here, or little attachments. Oh, right, right. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna lose one or the other before anything. That's just the way it rolls. Continuity check here. And I'm gonna open it up here in a little bit because I see uh, one other guy. Saw a bit of an issue with the uh, fuse clip in there, so. Oh. What, no sound? I go slow along it, it grabs it, but. Uh, Definitely not as good as a fluke. Temperature probe, I can check that later. Diode, what's the diode drop across to human? What's my resistance? Do I have any resistance? Yeah, I do. Do like that, uh, what's his name did? Uh, uh, electro boom, check the resistance of your eyeball? I don't think so. Oh yeah, the field checker. Right, right. Nice. Anywho's, 
let's go ahead and crack it open and uh, see if my fuse clip is the same as that other guy's fuse clip. I'm assuming mine and his came in the same batch. By the time I ordered mine, mine or when I when I ordered this one, the Amazon sites said there's still a bunch left. It didn't save the three. I think I'm right up there with one of the first, one of the first few. Manufacturer number one six three three one zero seven six eight. Hut hut. What no serial number? Like the microcurrent. I get like serial number two, 250 something. I don't remember. 262. Doesn't matter. I'm doing this out in my garage because much better lighting out here. I should have taken that off first, huh, dummy? <laughs> well, it doesn't have the fuse clip problem. I can see that right now. Sideball the rest of it. clips to the circuit board here. Okay, no big deal there. No, no. There's the fuse clip. So there's the other one. Take another look over this. I forgot my glasses, so I can't see one thing from another. Sure as hell can't see it up close. Put it under the microscope and see what happens. No, I don't see any uh, anything goofy going on here. See, they got a little over soldered on this here. I wish I'd have brought my glasses out. A couple of these, uh, I don't even know what size that is. It's about the size of a 1206, but it's more square. So maybe like a 1210. Ah, 1210, yeah, there you go. A couple of those ain't perfectly straight. Uh, but the little 0402s, looking pretty straight. The diodes here above the uh, above the fuse, I'm assuming they were diodes. Yeah, they look straight. A lot of ES stitching down there by the by the fuse, of course. Yeah, I don't see a problem. Mine looks good. Don't see any scratches on the on the uh, display. Nope. Um. Winner. I like it. Put it together and it won't work, right? Just because that's the way it rolls. <laughs> GP extra heavy duty. You know those got to be high quality. Yeah, all the screws got the threaded inserts on them. That's good. This meter is smaller. I got a BK twenty seven uh, twenty nine oh seven twenty seven oh nine. Which one is it? I can't remember. 
I got one of those, uh, the fifty or the hundred dollar shootout meter there from a few years ago. Got one of those, an eighty seven series five. Uh, you know, and this one is definitely the smallest one of the bunch. I've been kind of wanting a small one anyway, bordering on tiny. You know, here's your button bushes. Yeah, this thing is kind of chintzy weak. And what the? Got the screw mount. What am I going to do? Bolt this up to a wall? Leave it there? <laughs> it does have the fuse, uh, the uh, test lead holders, though, so that's, that's all right. Yeah. Send a Toymo couple real quick. I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to upload it and link it straight up because, uh, you know, quite frankly, I have a day job. So, okay. yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Duh. That is kind of a goofy fit. It's 20. Okay, I got to figure out how to change it over to, uh, Fahrenheit. Oh, there. <laughs> it's select. 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put it up on the sand here. Did you say 68? I don't know if that's backwards or not for you. Does that say 95.94? Squeezing a little harder. Actually, I'm going to stick the temp probe right behind my ear. And that fold behind your ear and your skull. Ninety one. Oh, it does respond pretty quick though. Let's shove it in here in this cold metal. That's just a little room temperature. Yeah, it was about uh, thirty eight out here this morning. So. Yeah, looks like the thermal couple works. Yay. Like I said, I don't have any of my tools out here, so. I'm calling it a winner, eh? I don't have a tagline like that guy from Canada or like that guy from Australia. See ya.